Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the Stamp Markets Color Crush Blog Hop. We're featuring the delicious new inks and card stocks that just came out. It's called the Color Crush Collection and I'm in love. Okay, these are the new inks. I believe there's 13 if I counted correctly. And oh, and then I'm using this balloon. This is an older stamp set uh, by the stamp market. I can't find it in the shop, it's old, but it, I, I just used the balloon to make a swatch chart. So you can see here, I'm already fiddling on my first one. I dropped the Cherry Kisses ink on the Misty and I just made a big old mess. And if I'm being honest with you, it took me about four tries just to make a swatch chart because I had fiddle fingers today. I was dropping the ink pads. One time my stamp fell right off the Misty and then that messed up my whole, anyhow, it was a long process, but in the end it turned out delicious. And I will tell you this, when I, when I was first stamping, these inks to swatch them out. When I first stamp it, it looks a little splotchy, uneven. And I'm a bit of an ink snob, if I do say so myself. But as I kept going and I watched the inks dry, they smoothed out like butter, like a baby's bottom. I mean, for real, like I was actually amazed at how smooth, it almost looked like pigment inks in the end, but I don't believe they're pigment inks. Anywho, the card stocks, were dyed to match the inks perfectly. So, and Amy, the 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 brains and the creativity behind the stamp market, beautiful woman inside and out, and I am loving her color choices. Here they are in all their glory. I took this off camera, wrote the names of all the inks under the balloons, so you can see my little chicken scratch here. But like cherry kisses, bubble gum. I think my, one of my favorites is the citrine color. It's like that chartreuse yellow green. So here's all my mistakes that I did before just trying to make a swatch chart. So I figured, hey, I'm gonna do something with these balloons. So I took the coordinating die and die cut a bunch of these balloons. And again, I can't find that stamp set in the shop, but I believe it was called Time to Celebrate. So uh, for the background, what I'm using is, it's called the Perfect Polka Dots background stamp. This is also by the stamp market. I inked it up with sea glass ink and this yay is from the balloon builder stamp set. Pulling out some of my favorite old stamp market stamp sets to put this all together, but I stamped the yay right on that citrine balloon and I made myself a little balloon cluster. I didn't pop these up or anything. I just put tape runner on the back and kind of slid them into a cluster. And now what I'm doing is taking some silver thread and tying carefully, tying these on the ends of the balloons. This was a little bit cray cray because there's not much of a little balloon end to tie it on, but hey, I made it work. I tied it on just a few of them and let them hang loosey goosey, just like that. I love a, a bouquet of balloons on a polka dotted background. So there's card number one, which showcases the delicious inks. And now for this one, I'm using this, um, color block die, I'm gonna die cut some of these new card stocks. So like I say, the card stocks were dyed to match the inks. So if you love the colors of the inks, you're gonna love the colors of the card stocks, and I do. I mean, these colors, it's like life. Like she went inside my brain and picked out exactly what I would have picked out. So I ran these through a little snippets of the, cause I wasn't gonna cut up all of that. You know what I mean? That card stock's like gold. So just little corner pieces and I did about eight colors with the color block die. Then I took that outline there. I'm just holding that, the outline of the color block with some post-it tape onto a white card base just so I can get the spacing. Each one of these little pieces are popped up with foam tape. Then I'll take off that outline spacer thingamajiggy, what you want to call it. See, I'm taking that off. And then you have perfect spacing. It's like the heavens opened up. And then now for sentiment, I'm keeping it simple. The big high die. So you got the color block die and the big high die for the sentiment. Gotta, don't you ever forget the tittle. The tittle is the dot on the eye and this card is finished. I mean, don't touch it, right? So there's two cards, one with the inks, 
one with the cardstock. So you got to check out the Color Crush blog hop. There's amazing inspiration. Check out the stamp market to see the new products from the new September release. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.